Sears, the horticulture agent for Madison County. If you're interested in starting a garden, whether it's the first time or you've been gardening for years, we have a lot of great resources here at the Madison County Extension Office. The best one, if you come by our office or call us, email us, we can share this home vegetable gardening guide with you. This will take you step by step on what to look for, how to start a garden, how to fertilize it, what plants are best, but also talks about diseases and insect problems as well. We have a lot of other great guides and other things to help you with. If you find during the growing season that you're having problems, let's say Colorado potato beetles or maybe you have some diseases on your tomatoes, then you can actually bring those things by the office as well and we can help you identify and help with that too. So if you're a new gardener, one of the first things to look for is a good garden site. One of the best things to look for is something that receives at least six to eight hours of sunlight a day, preferably towards the eight hour end. Most plants for a vegetable garden need that much sun in order to have optimal production. Um, something that's pretty level because you don't want soil to run off as you're watering it after it rains. And another thing to think about is what vegetables do you want to grow? What will your family eat? You don't want to grow a bunch of eggplant if nobody's going to eat it. So if you're brand new to gardening and you're a little nervous, what would be the best thing to grow? What would be the easiest thing to grow? I really enjoy growing lettuce and other leafy vegetables. All you really need to do are put some seeds on the ground, add water, and a lot of times they grow up without, grow without too much problems. Um, other leafy greens to consider might be kale or mustard, uh, some Swiss chard, which is always really beautiful as well. Um, for more experienced gardeners, you might uh, grow tomatoes, which is everybody's favorite, squash, beans, and there are different kinds of beans. Some need trellises to grow up, some are bush beans. If you, if you have a very small garden, one thing you might consider is what kind of plants am I putting in my garden? Each plant takes a certain amount of space, and so you certainly don't want to crowd things together. Now you might think, well, the more I can get in, the better. But really, they start to compete with each other, almost like weeds. And so each tomato plant, each bean plant needs a specific amount of space. And some plants need more than others. For instance, you can plant things like lettuce and radishes very close, but tomatoes are gonna to need a lot more room. But then when you've got things like beans, bean, bush bean plants don't need as much room as like a, a trellis bean. So if you're finding that you're doing a small container gardening, maybe a bush bean might be a better idea. But don't let all of this overwhelm you. Gardening should not be stressful. It should be something that's enjoyable, both as a hobby, but also something that you're getting a lot out of with food. If you're feeling overwhelmed, come by an extension office, give us a call, email. We're happy to help you with your gardening or, or other horticulture needs, but don't feel overwhelmed. Start small. Don't go out thinking you're gonna grow an acre. That's not needed. Maybe the best thing for you to be, would be to start with a few pots on your patio. A lot of things can be grown very simply. And that's really the most important thing. Keep it small and keep it as stress-free as possible.